Hello, in this series we want to see how to hack a Windows machine if you have access or a physical access to the box uh, itself. So we are going to use the offline entity password and registry editor. Now just go to pogostick.net and download it. Now this is very important. Uh, if you are using a machine that have an encrypted drive, do not try this, it will not work because uh, if you try to change the password of an encrypted drive, uh, you will lose the data. So if you don't know if you have an encrypted files or not, you most likely don't have them. But if you are using a corporate system, most probably the drive is encrypted. So have that in mind. So don't try this on an encrypted machine. So just download the CD image or if you want to use the, the USB uh, image, you are free to do so. So I'm going to download the CD image. I go to my virtual machine settings and then under uh, system, I just make sure that the optical drive comes before the hard disk on the boot order. And then under storage, I add the CD image and then I just say, okay. So I'm going to try this in a virtual machine. Then I just click on start. So once you do that, it's going to boot using the CD image. So just uh, press enter in this screen. So you can see that uh, we are going to start booting uh, with that CD image. So it has uh, detected two partitions, SDA1 and SDA2. So it's now just searching for the where Windows is installed. So there are several options that we can choose. So I'm going to choose option one, which is the default. So that is the SDA2 drive. Now on the next screen, it asks us which part of the registry to load. So I'm going to use the default option. So that is password reset uh, using the SAM file. So this is where the Windows uh, credentials are stored. So just press enter which is the default. And then now, again, in this menu option, I'm going to edit user data and password. So again, I'm going to select the default option, which is uh, number one. So there are other things that you can do there if you want, but we are going to stick with the default for now. Now, it's going to list for us the users that we have there with their, with their RID. So it's the RID that you use to select the user that you want to modify. So I'm going to modify developer user, which is the default that have been selected there with the RID 3EA. So you can also type, you can just type the uh, RID if you want. But uh, for me, I'm going to use 03. EA. Of course, this will differ in your own machine because your users will be different. So I'll just type 03EA and then I'm going to press enter to select that particular user. So in this option, in this menu option, I'm going to clear or a blank user password, which is the default, uh, which is number one, I mean. But there are other things there, as you can see. You can unlock and enable user account, that number two. You can promote a user. You can add a user to a group. You can remove a user from a group. And then also the default one, you can quit editing the user. So let's select one and press enter to reset the password for, for the user. So this will blank the password. So we will be able to log in without uh, using password. So that's how you reset a, a user using this uh, utility. So that means that we have selected clear or blank a user uh, password. So uh, it gives us a confirmation there that this has been done. So now uh, once we have done this, we'll just select uh, Q. Q means quit editing user and then go back to user select. So it means we will go back to the default screen that we were on before uh, we did the reset of the user. As I've said, there are several other options there that you can try like unlocking and enabling user account, like uh, promoting a user. So this means if you want to make a user an administrator, or you can add a user to a group, 
removing a user from a group and then of course the screening uh, user and then going back to a uh, user select okay so we are done with the that particular user so let's try another user so i'm going also to clear the password for the user administrator so i'm going to type its uh, rid so that is 1f4 i'll press enter then uh, select one which is clear or blank user password so we'll uh, blank the password for administrator also Okay, so that is done and then now uh, once we do this uh, we are going to try something different for the guest user so I just press Q so that I can go back uh, to the previous screen so I'll edit user password then now for the guest user which is uh, RID 01F5 I'll just type 1F5 enter now for the guest user, I don't want to clear the password uh, now. I just want to promote this user to be an administrator. So it gives us uh, some information to add or remove a user from other groups. Please uh, add the menu selection, blah, blah. Note you may get some errors. So do you want to do it? Uh, so I'll type yes. enter so we have promoted guest to be an administrator now let's clear its password also because we don't know the password of guest so number one to clear or blank user uh, password good so we are done and uh, now i'm just going to quit editing users so that i can go back to user select Okay, so uh, I'm done. So what we can do now is just to save the changes that we have done. Remember, uh, just to type Q. So it will ask us, uh, you're about to write files back. Do you want to do it? So I say yes. I press enter. So I'm done with the screen. I don't do want to do another run. So I'll just exit from uh, this tool empty password and then I'll go back to my virtual machine so once I'm back in my virtual machine uh, remember to change the boot order so that you start the boot with the hard disk so let's let's so we did not change that so I'll need to go back to my virtual machine let me just power off uh, let me go to settings I'll go to system I make sure that optical drive comes after hard disk so I'll boot from the hard disk so once I boot I want to log in and see if I can log into developer user with a blank password and there we go